following this page. Welcome to the misadventures of me. <laughs> you or someone you know was born before 2003. I want you to blind react to this sound. It's only five seconds long. It's way shorter than that other video. And it, it, it's just, it's everywhere. It was everywhere. It was just so weird. Anyways, what do you say? Are you ready? Are you, sh are you sure you're ready for this? Okay, all right. Coming soon to theaters. Please men listen. are men. Yeah. So if you like men, you should be comfortable dating a trans man. Okay. And trans women are women. So if you like women, you should be comfortable dating a trans woman. No. Not wanting to date someone regardless of gender because their trans is messed up. No, it isn't. It's preference. Preference means you like one thing more than another. Are you saying you like cis women more than trans women? Or are you saying you like cis women and not trans women, which wouldn't be preference? It wouldn't work in bed. How are you so certain you're incompatible with a theoretical person with an anatomy you've never seen? They have a... You assume they're on options? Maybe they don't want you to get near it. Maybe they've been on hormones. Maybe they don't even have one. And your worst assumption of all is that whatever they have is not that of a woman's. I can have preferences. If you actually met a trans woman and found out you'd be incompatible by talking, that would be one thing. But you just don't know you wouldn't like any trans woman at all solely based on them being trans. With this very specific idea in mind of what a trans woman is, and it doesn't seem like to you she's a woman. You've been separating trans women from cis women this entire time. How do you not see the problem? If you were born between the years 1990 and 2002, I need you to stop and just blind react to this because I have a question and I need your honest, genuine reactions. Okay, good, yeah, cool. What's it like knowing you've lost the game? There is nothing weirder than an older man dating an 18 year old. Oh really, and why is that? Isn't it obvious? She is a literal child. No, she's a young adult who can make her own decisions. Well, you know what? Just because she's 18 doesn't mean she knows what she's doing. Really? Because 18 year old women sure know what they're doing when it comes to driving, college drinking, faking IDs, and of course, making money online selling nudes. It doesn't matter, it's still wrong. Maybe to you, but there are plenty of couples with that age difference who are doing well as we speak. You know what? If you're a pedo, just say it. Sorry, but women like older men with more experience and men like younger women with less baggage. So please don't call me a pedo because you're intimidated by competition. I'll show you intimidated! Hello, police! Well, here we go again. Aloha, the police? You have my husband in custody? <laughs> I don't even care what he do, <laughs> actually. Okay, you can keep him. I know pay bail. Uh uh. No, you keep him for as long as it needs to, okay? And make it a little longer if you can, okay? If a month, two months, a year, it's okay for me. Yes, I got married too young. Uh, I didn't know what kind of uh, person he is, yes, but I am Catholic, I cannot divorce, so instead maybe I thinking to take a vacation to Italy, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, just keep him there for a while, yeah, yeah, oh, Italy because I watched 365 Denis, you know, with the guy, okay, bye. Okay, y'all want to know why the Cheetah Girl soundtrack slapped so much? Well, did you know that the person who executive produced the soundtrack for the Cheetah Girls was the late and great Whitney Houston? But not only she was a producer for Cheetah Girls 1 and 2, but she also produced The Princess Diaries. Bro, Whitney Houston a legend for doing this. <laughs> alright, well, hey, I'll call you back after 9 when my minutes are free, alright? Okay, well, I'll just text you. Girl, don't text me. Girl, you know it cost me 10 cents to send and receive text messages. I'll call you back tonight after 9. All right, bye. Girl, tripping. She's trying to run up my bill already. Oh, I can set up my voicemail. Yo, what's up, y'all? I can't come to the phone right now, but if I leave your name and a brief message, I'll be sure to get back to you. Holla. <laughs> Let's make Cheesecake Factory's Buffalo Blast. Two cups of shredded chicken, one cup of cheese, and half a cup of hot buffalo sauce. Mix that together and place on your wonton wrap. Water the edges so it could stick better and then form into a triangle shape like this. Then I'm gonna dip it in my egg wash and seasoned breadcrumbs. Make sure you coat it very well and then fry on each side until golden. And that's it, enjoy. You are not going to believe what they hide inside our face masks. 
What's it, fuck? What, I don't under... No way. For me? <laughs> Does straight TikTok just like not know? Like, are they unaware of the existence of Rainbow Flag Theater Kids, Science Nerd, Cottagecore, Bridgerton Musical, leftist witchy shanty singing TikTok? Because like, if that's the case, that is a deprived existence and I am so sorry. I'm going to Walmart, y'all need anything? I'm gonna go take out some cash, if you know what that means. I'm going to store to find the rich husband. I'm going to go fight Bear in Woods.